So I was watching, you know, Dr. Zakita Williams today <clears throat> on the Word Network, man, and she you could just feel the power of God. But, you know, she said momentum shift, and then God said, tell my people they need to speak because that's going to give them momentum. So God said, what you're about to say is going to give you momentum. A lot of times, you know, we forget how big God is, man, and we look at our situation and we look at it, just how big it is. But you know, big situations are controlled by small things, your mouth. Let's talk about it. John 14 and 12. I tell you this truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. That's Jesus talking. Verse 13. You can ask for anything in my name. I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. John 15 and 16. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you. I appointed you to bear fruit and fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask, the Father in my name, he will give to you. <clears throat> you know, if we look at like a big horse, you know what I'm saying? It says in the scripture, a horse is controlled by the bit of his mouth. So no matter how big or powerful that horse, that horse will go, whatever, you know what I'm saying, you control with that little bit. And you look at the biggest ships, you know what I'm saying, but they can they control by the little small rods. And the same thing with the miracle in your situation. It's controlled by your mouth. That's why God says, speak, you know what I'm saying, these things as though they already were. So God wants you to say something and God said, well, if you speak it, it's going to give you momentum. Just like when you're playing like a sports or something like that, God said he's about to give you momentum. <laughs> I'm preaching to myself today, boy. But I'm just saying, though, God's going to give you momentum. And God said, no matter where you're at, God said, speak it. God said, you ain't got to be no big name preacher. You ain't got to be a pastor. You ain't got to be a prophet or whatever. Wherever you at, speak it. God said you can be a janitor, you know, you could be working at McDonald's, you can be working at Wendy's, you could be a teacher, you could be just bagging groceries at, you know, saying at Walmart. God says, speak those things. You be working at Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General, wherever. God says, speak those things. A lot of times, you know, saying we look at we like, you know, God can't hear us. God is hearing you. That's why he's having me speak to you now, because he heard you. And God said, it's time to shift the momentum. God says, speak it. Speak those things as though they already were. What that means. So if I'm looking for employment, just say, Lord, I'm going to find employment. I'm going to find employment and then keep on doing that. God's going to give you momentum. Regardless if you go to the next couple of jobs and they turn you down, God is going to give you momentum. I mean, tonight is your night, man. God is something else. But, you know, he was just showing me some things, man. And, you know, a lot of things, you know, we, you know, we wait on God and God's like, I'm waiting on you to speak it so it can, so it can set forth. You know what I'm saying? And all you got to do is just speak it. I mean, you said what it says in the word. I mean, go check it out yourself. God said, you know, so Jesus said, if you ask in my name, the father will do it. So whatever we ask Jesus, Jesus is going to go tell God, say, hey, look, so-and-so said this in my, in my name. Man, I hope you caught that spiritually. I love y'all. God bless. No matter what, you're going to triumph over the enemy. God got you.